dolazi dan kad ćeš ostari svoj cilj To bi jas će me pratiti Nismo ti za sva vremena Dolazi dan kad ćeš ostari svoj san Za sva vremena zajedno How's it going? Welcome to another episode. I'm Christian Key. This is Toby. And in this episode, I'm gonna show you exactly what Toby eats. So this is his diet, right? So let's let's start off with treats, okay? With tiny little they're like attachments to his daily uh daily meals. They're not they're just you know they're treats, okay? Okay? So let's start off with a treat he likes the most. <coughs> oh, sorry man. <laughs> Before we start, I want to tell you that this isn't a paid promotion or anything, you know, I'm just showing you what I buy my uh, cat to eat, but um, if any of you cat food companies want to sponsor me and uh, Toby and this show, feel free to do so. <laughs> okay, first up we have cat sticks, cat mini sticks from Witacraft, Witacraft sticks. I like to call these uh, sausages, right? And he likes these. These are from cod and pollock. It's fish. Uh, you get three sticks. They are sugar-free. And I guess they contain some vitamins. I don't know. You can give him one to two sticks in 24 hours. And that's how I'm giving him. And he just loves it a lot. They are made in Germany. Okay, next up we have the paste. I usually give him the paste after breakfast, as you can see in uh, the previous episode. The paste is from Wittacraft as well as the uh, sticks. And this is like a liquid snack, it literally says that, liquid snack. And uh, it's chicken and it contains taurine. Taurine, as you can see. Am I showing you right? It's a liquid snack from Vitacraft, it, co it contains taurine, whatever that is. I think that's something that helps cats with... Yeah, it's a food supplement, right? Uh, yeah, these treats are all food supplements. They are not actual food, they are just, you know, food supplements, right? Uh, Toby left. Toby left the, the screen. Now, I started giving him this treat after the first big earthquake hit Croatia. Uh, a few months ago, a huge earthquake hit Croatia, and then after like a month or two, well, more actually, after a couple of months, another even stronger earthquake hit Croatia. So I started uh, buying him these treats, which are these. Calming cat treats for stressed out cats. Uh, they are from Beafar. Beafar? Beafar. Uh, reduces stress in cats, as you can see. Reduces stress in cats. Now, this is all natural, this is all organic. Um, I'm giving him two treats per day. I usually gave him only one until I read on the background that you have to give him. Two treats daily. So I give him one in the afternoon, like after we come home from the walk, and I give him one before we go to sleep, right before he goes to sleep. Uh, does uh, does it actually calm him? I didn't really notice it. Maybe it does, you know, probably, or maybe he just got older and 
you know, s stopped fooling around so much. But yeah, I mean, these are the calming treats that I give him. Uh, I dropped it. These treats are great for uh, if 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 uh, you ha you have to go on a travel or something, and you know if if you have to leave home and leave your cat alone for a few hours. I mean, these treats are great. Or overall, if you have a uh, an asshole of a cat who is always naughty and whatnot, these treats are great. These treats, these treats can do wonder, right? As I said, maybe maybe you know. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I did notice some some uh, changes in his behavior after I started giving him uh, two treats per day. Uh, he actually did, I think, kind of, you know, chilled out a little bit more, you know. Yeah. So these are the treats. So here we are, different angle, same guys. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna show you dry food heats and the one I tried in the intro. It's not good. Um, I buy him only one kind of dry food, and it's this one. It's called Purina One, and they are Bifensis. Bifensis. Uh, this is an indoor formula for indoor cats. It apparently helps with their stomach, uh, for like, you know, hair in their stomach and whatnot. Uh, for, uh, I guess that's a decreased smell of shit and overall I think vitality. There's more tastes. This is, I think, this is, yeah, it's also good for their bladder and uh, for, I don't know, I think this is fish. I think this is, I think this green one is fish. There's also red one from beef and orange one chicken. Uh, these are these are good and these are the only kind that he wants to eat. If I buy him any other dry food, he will maybe eat like two or three and um, he won't even touch it again unless it's these. These are the only ones that he eats. And they're not that expensive and they're really good. They have all the benefits that he gains. It's 200 grams a pack. There's bigger ones, but you know, I'd rather buy him multiple smaller ones with different tastes than just one big bag. Anyways, uh, let's go to wet food. When it comes to wet food, Toby is a really picky cat. He doesn't eat canned food. Food? Toby doesn't eat canned food, alright? If you buy him a can and open it, he doesn't want to eat it. You know, he'll eat maybe lick it twice and he'll leave it. He's gonna, you know, just leave it. He won't eat it. He only eats these these packs that contain four little bags, like bags, little literal bags of food. Now, as far as brands go, uh, he eats multiple brands of these wet food uh, packages, but I currently have in my possession only one brand, which is Whiskas, as you can see. This is the kind of dry, uh, wet food. This is the kind of wet food that he eats. It's a pack of four uh, bags with different flavors. He has salmon, tuna, beef, and chicken. This is the green one. There's also some other kinds of whiskers that I also currently don't have. But you know, this is like a casserole. It's easy. It's, it's, it says casserole. Uh, it's meaty. It's it's in jello. It's in jello. It's delicious. He likes it. Um, but um, you know, there's kinds with like uh, uh, there's kinds with some vegetables as well. You know, he gets uh, peas. He gets carrots. He gets you know stuff like that. I mean, he eats better than I do. Look at him. He's living the life, man. And I have to work my ass off in a in a in a shit job. <laughs> uh, he also eats uh, the brand called Shiba. Shiba, it's the most expensive one of all. Uh, he really likes it, and it's good. It's really good. It's packed really nice. Yeah, those are a bit too too expensive for me now currently in my financial state. So I just buy him Whiskas, which is the cheapest one of the expensive ones. You know, it's the cheapest one of the expensive ones. At least it is here in uh, Croatia where I live. Shit country. <clears throat> he also eats gourmand, 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 gourmand. 
I think. Yeah. Uh, it's also the same kind of thing, packed with, you know, a package with four bags. He, those are his least favorite ones, uh, and they are a bit more expensive as well, so I just kind of overall stopped buying them for him. Uh, I was buying for him only Whiskas and, uh, and Shiba, until I couldn't afford Shiba anymore, so now I buy him only Whiskas because, like I said, it's the cheapest one of the expensive ones, right? Uh, if I buy him anything cheaper, he won't eat it because he is a spoiled little brat. He doesn't eat anything that is cheap. Uh, he doesn't eat anything canned. He, he has to get everything in a bag. So, yeah. This kind of whiskas is currently his only diet thing, diet plan, whatever. And he really loves it. He enjoys it. And, yeah, just recently... Uh, I managed to get my hands on some uh, other kind of wet food that is also from those uh, from the same brand those treats were, which is Witacraft. And this is sort of canned, but it's wet and it's different. And he likes this, and it's called poi pussy, poesy, poesy. You see, it literally says that pussy. It's pussy. This one is with, I think, uh, wild, wild animals in cranberry jello, jelly. It's shaped like a heart. He likes this, but he likes this one even more. It's turkey in cheese sauce, and it's also pussy. It's turkey in cheese sauce. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of these left, you know, but, and, and, and these are definitely uh, not his, not the first on his list, you know, he would take whiskas over these any time, but, you know, he eats everything because he has to. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, I mean, he also eats some, some of our, some of human food. When I eat some uh, nice chicken, you know, or something, I always give him like a tiny little piece so that so that he tries it, you know. But he never really begs for human food, you know. Our human food only gives him appetite to eat his own food. So, you know, when we eat and he begins to cry, he's he's not begging for human food. He just wants me to give him his food so that he can eat as well, you know. As far as uh, liquid stuff goes, he drinks water, he doesn't know how to drink water from a bowl. When I give him water in a bowl, he just spills it all over the place, touches it with his paws, he plays with it, but he can't drink it. So, I basically just, you know, release water on a sink, and then he drinks it. I'm gonna have to buy him a water fountain, I think, that might do the trick. And now, um... I have a little montage here for you uh, that I kind of uh, did because of the song that is used in that montage. I did my best to edit it uh, to make it uh, fit the music and to make it, you know, work. So I would appreciate it if you drop that like button underneath and uh, subscribe to my channel, you know, subscribe, hit the bell button so you don't miss the next upload. And the next episode of Toby and I cat vlog, you know. And because this episode is a bit shorter, I think. It's gonna be a bit shorter. Because I, you know, kind of uh, did everything so fast. Here's the montage for you. Enjoy. That's gonna be the end of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Toby is uh, half asleep. And he wants me to stop talking. So I will. And uh, guess what? I'll join him. I'm gonna go uh, take a nap. Because I'm tired. I'm a tired man. I work all day. There once was a cat with a hungry belly The name of the cat was Whiskers Jelly His throat was dry and his bow was bare Meow, me furry cat's meow Soon may the kitty men come With birds and mice and some tasty nums One day when the critters come We'll eat till our bellies are full While Jelly got his boys and they gathered round They scattered seeds from a sack they found In hopes the seeds they spread on the ground Would bring small critters a boot 
Soon may the caiman come with birds and mice and some tasty nums. One day when the craters come, we'll eat till our bellies are full. While the gang was bored and morale had dipped, to one of the seeds grew green catnip. They snipped and they stacked and they all got ripped. They all had a meow that night. Soon may the caiman come with birds and mice and some tasty nums. One day when the craters come, we'll eat till our bellies are full. While their heads were hung and the morn was nigh, the nip was strong and they all got high. Their bellies were shrunk and their bowls still dry. Oh, bring us some ice today. Soon may the caiman come with birds and mice and some tasty nums. One day when the craters come, we'll eat till our bellies are full. Oh yeah, and don't forget to follow Toby on Instagram. It's Tobias Toby, and uh, you know, follow him, like all the pictures. What are you waiting for? Come on, come on. I mean, please. I, you know, I said please. <laughs>